Super progressive, what is good? It's been a few days, but we're back with another super progressive reaction. I unfortunately had a funeral, and then I had a very lovely wedding, but now it's time to get back into the music. And I saw in the comments, a lot of you were asking for a track with vocals, so I think today we have one of the strongest vocal tracks in progressive house history. And the track we will be reacting today is none other than 16B featuring Moral Escape Driving to Heaven Omid's Full Vocal Mix. Now, this track is so epic and I kind of want to start obviously with some research because the first time I ever heard of this track was when it was included on um, Deep Dishes, GU021 in Moscow. If I'm not mistaken, first track on CD1. Nothing better than a strong intro track. Um, so let's just run to Discogs quickly and figure out this whole web of who's working with who and how this song came to be. Let's go to Discogs right now. Okay, so Escape Driving to Heaven is a collaboration between 16B and Moral. Now, Moral is the vocalist and 16B is the producer. And I have up here 16B's Discogs page and his real name is, and I'm probably pronouncing this wrong, so I'm really sorry, but Omid Norazade. Omid Norizade. Omid Norizade. And so I see here, um, you know, and you see the name come up, even if you're just a casual fan, Omid 16B is also 16B. Very cool. Also born in Tehran, Iran. Um, just like, uh, just like Deep Dish, and that's double interesting. We'll get to that um, in a second. Um, he is the label director and head of our, this is all according to Discogs. I'm not sure if this is still true. He was the label director and head of A&R of Sex on Wax. And then also the owner and founder of Alola Records. Super cool. Now, the first time I actually ever heard of 16B was actually on Sasha and John Digweed's Northern Exposure 2 because 16B's remix of Gus Gus's Believe is the first track on the album. Now, this is one of the most memorable tracks for me. I'll never, never forget, you know, where I was when I first heard Northern Exposure 2. But those lyrics that just started, ba -da, da 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 ba da and then it goes like, uh, Jesus said he walked in me. And he walks side by side, and we walk by side by side. I mean, I botched that, but uh, I love that song so much. Um, and I'll probably be doing a reaction to that in the future. But yeah, that was the first time I heard of 16B. And let's continue the research. So the vocalist on the track Escape Driving to Heaven is none other than Richard Morrill, who goes by Morrill. And now he has one of the best voices in underground dance music history. And, you know, there's there's so many examples that we can point to. But just scrolling down to his appearances, it's like, what do you see right away? Um, so his track with Deep Dish, um, he has a track called True with Deep Dish, right? And this track was literally everywhere. Let's just take a look. John De John Digweed's Bedrock um, compiled and mixed. Like, that's one of the greatest mixed compilations ever. You have Deep Dish, Yoshi Yesk, another classic. And then you have, actually, this is where I get really pumped. You have 16B's remix of True, and that's on Sasha and John Digweed's Communicate, and it's also on um, 
Deep Dishes Renaissance Ibiza mix. So basically you have like this web of artists that are insanely talented and respected working together. You have Deep Dish, Moral, and Sasha and John Digweed. Now, normally when you get tracks that are co-signed by a group of producers and DJs like that, you know it's gold. And this was definitely the case with anything 16B, Moral, Deep Dish were collaborating on at this time. Okay, but now let's get to Escape Driving to Heaven because these this track, which came, you know, which was kind of unveiled on uh, Deep Dish's GU21 in Moscow, that was in 2001. So, uh, you know, the underground music world was already well acquainted with um, both 16B and Moral, and I'm sure... The expectations were high. So let's go over to um, Global Underground 21, just so we can pull that up quickly before we start. It is right here. So you see it, first track right here, 16B featuring Moral Escape, Driving to Ev Heaven, Omid's full vocal mix. Um, you know, this is one of like, <laughs> one of my personal all-time favorite Global Undergrounds. Um, I there's one track there's one track that I've always loved so much on here, which was Deep Dish's remix of Thank You. I think they actually won a Grammy for that track. But you know this mix is so freaking strong. You have Escape. You know you have Deep Dish's remix of Dido. Then you see you just got to go down the names. M Moral has another song. Way out, way out west, you know, Nick Warren and Jody Wisternoff remixing BT. You have PMT. You have Sander Kleinenberg remixing PMT. And then also, just to, just to drive home, like, how uh, synchronized these artists were together and how strong, how strong their music was. It's like the penultimate track on the whole mix is another 16B remix of John Creamer. John Creamer and Stephen, is it Stephen or Stephane? I'll say Stephane. John Creamer and Stephane K's I Wish You Were Here, which, you know, another monster track. So Deep Dish were tapped in 2001, first global underground, and they're, they're turning to 16B, and they're turning to Moral on uh, multiple occasions throughout the mix. So they have their trust, um, and they definitely have my trust too. And uh, yeah, let's just get let's just get into it right now because I am beyond stoked to hear this. So, you know, as we always say, we got a super progressive reaction. Sixteen B featuring Moral, Escape, Driving to Heaven, Omid's full vocal mix. Here we go. It's about I can I can hear what's about to be what is the baseline coming in and just before 
we get to that point um from the first beat you know the kick drum the underlying melodies i am just absolutely hooked and i can already see why there are so many fans of this track i cannot wait you know in about a second and a half this bass line i think is going to come in and rock my world let's go Basically, like what I'm hearing off the bat is these three layers of melody that are just there to support this funky offbeat bass line. The word that I describe it is it's a driving bass line. And this to me sounds like maybe I'm influenced by this artwork right here, but to me, this is a driving track like I picture myself you know windows down heat on in the fall after a show ripping down the highway to this All I'll say is off that first verse, I just love how they introduced, you know, introduced his vocal as like a part of the texture of the song before just putting in, you know, his vocals of singing words, because that introduces the idea of Moral's voice acting as an instrument just as much as like a vocal guide or an emotional guide through words that he provides for the track, you know, it. it in itself, his voice is an instrument, and I loved that subtle intro. I guess I guess like talking saying listening to this after the rave was uh pretty accurate. <laughs> eyes what do you say? Eyesight dilated, eyes are dilated, traffic syncopated. I don't need I have to look up the lyrics after this, but amazing.
Yes! Just before before the third verse or whatever starts, it's like whenever so you always get dropped into that groove after the first drop, right? And how I like to judge a track, like this may not be for everyone, but if I could put that groove on a 32 beat loop or a 16 beat loop after, you know, that groove that comes in with the first drop. And if that, if that's, that's enough for me for like eight minutes straight, that's how I know it's, it's really like for me, a timeless track. And I could listen to that groove that we just got dropped into a couple minutes, pff, hours and hours and hours on end and just be rocking with it. That was awesome. I'm driving to heaven and there's no way back home. That's how I feel every time I turn on a global underground mix. This is going to go, this is going to go for like two more minutes and, and I'll be honest, those, those last two minutes, if you know me, are normally my favorite parts of the track because, um, that's sometimes where I find with all great music, like less is more and I just need so few of the elements, but I always find in those outros that, you know, it's like the pure essence of the song. So I'll definitely, in the interest of time in this review, all I want to say is I love how, like, for how for how amazingly and simply, sim simply awesome this track is, it's, like, on paper, it's, like, melodic bass line. Insanely dynamic percussion. Just rich vocals. Like, okay, it's going to be an awesome track. There's not not much to it amazing track but it's like no this this track to me is so sophisticated and you find it in that middle breakdown session where there's no kick and there's no clap but there's so much going on and you know instead of like leveling you up it's like uh i don't know it's like twisting it's either like twisting you up like in a tornado like where you're like 
you like really the the way the percussions program really gets you like spinning around but it's also like a uh, you know going back to the driving metaphor this tracks like when you shift gears you know how the rpm meter i don't even know what it's called odometer speedometer odometer it like goes and then it comes back and then it goes and then it comes back and then goes and then it comes back every time it shifts gears that's what this track is for me and i found it really you know um sophisticated awesome but definitely not doing too much like this track is um when i'm driving when i'm driving back from work from danny's tomorrow this track is going to be what's um playing as i pull out the crib so yeah unbelievable listen i hope you enjoyed the reaction hope this puts you in the mood to you know listen to gu21 in moscow or puts you in the mood to put this track on if you have it in your collection or just to listen to more 16b listen to more vocals by moral um really 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 awesome track can't wait to show it to my friends we're back with the reactions thanks so much for coming by super progressive loves you thank you thank you thank you